name is Alice with Gilde, and I'm going to teach you how to change the seal and spacer kit in a pitot dual static adapter. This is a seal tool exchange kit, which may be helpful to remove and exchange your seals and spacers within your adapter. Included is a field service guide, which gives you the step-by-step -step instructions that you'll need. This is an extractor, which will help you remove your seals. We also have an awl to remove the circlip a packer to pack in the seals, some q-tips to clean the inside of the adapter, and a general screwdriver. The first step is to remove the circlip. Take your awl from your seal tool exchange kit or any small pin-like tool. Tighten down the nut, then take your awl and stick it into each of the four holes beneath the nut to pop out the circlip. Remove the nut by turning counterclockwise. Once your nut is removed, you can now take out the insides. You can use your extractor from your seal tool exchange kit, or something in your shop such as a screwdriver which you can bend. So remove the rubbers, but try to keep them lined up in the same order, or use the technical drawing, which will show you which order everything should go in. If any of the items are burnt, you may need to use the technical drawing to see which order everything goes in. Look inside your adapter. If the snubber is burnt or damaged, you'll need to remove the top pitot fitting using heat as if necessary. Punch out the old snubber and press fit in a new one. If you notice a small split in the snubber, this is totally normal. Reinstall your pitot fitting using an adhesive such as Loctite. The next step is to clean your adapters. Get out your Q-tips. Clean the inside or you can alternatively use a toothbrush or some paper towels. If you have compressed air in your shop, blow out any remaining particles. Now it's time to refill the adapters. Take your seal and spacer kit, remove the parts, and align your seals and spacers according to the technical drawing which is included. Take your packer to help you put in the seals, flat down at the bottom, making sure not to scratch the sides of the adapter. Alternatively, you can use the end of your pretest. You might see that the collar needs to go inside the nut. Now screw the nut back onto the adapter, and now you'll need to reinsert your circlip. Now, to do this, you can use something simple such as a golf tee. Circle it around so the circlip goes inside the adapter until you hear it click. 